So, there's a regain location within the DMZ that I don't see a lot of people using. Now, it does require a skeleton key, which I've gone and brought in, but the thing about this regain location is it allows you to gear up an entire group. So, all you need is one skeleton key to gear up three people. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where that's at today. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get ourselves some plates. We got a ton of AI. We definitely want to get out of this spawn immediately. There will be snipers coming to the right, snipers coming to the left. So we're just going to bounce out as fast as we can. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get the best spawn for this regain location. So we're going to have to do quite a bit of driving. So this location is going to be Octar Village. Now, some of you are going to be very familiar with this, but I'm sure it's been a long, long time since you've actually gone here. Now, one thing to note about Octar Village is you need to be careful because it's flooded with AI. And obviously some of you are gonna know that where we're going with the skeleton key is going to be referred to as the sniper's nest, which is going to be this door right here. You're gonna see the symbols. You can only use a skeleton key to get in this room, but once you are in, there's going to be duffel bags, a stack of cash. There's going to be two orange supply boxes, a stealth plate, a regular three plate, and a comms vest. That right there is three plates for your entire squad, money and extra loot. There, in my opinion, is probably no better location to go ahead and get a regain on for your team. There's gonna be some weapons in here. I mean, a fully kitted TAC 56 is absolutely beautiful. You're gonna have a backpack, you know, and again, you're gonna have a little bit of money to go ahead and get whatever else you need. This is a phenomenal regain location that I think a lot of people forgot about because they came here and they did it for a quest and they never came back to it. Well, I'm telling you guys right now, get those skeleton keys, you know, out of your inventory. Come here when you and your entire team wipes, get three plates immediately, um, and then, you know, get back into the DMZ and doing whatever missions, um, quests, or hunting it is that you want to do. And you know what else you might want to do? Smash that like button to help support the channel so I can keep making videos like this for you. Anyways, back to the video. Now, I do have secondary objectives here. I need to get a stronghold key card, kill some enemies, and if by chance we spot a bounty, we'd like to accomplish that as well so we're gonna get to that um i do want to get out of here because again this is you know pve infested make sure to come through this alleyway like i did i'll just show that to you guys one more time uh just because it seems to be the place with the least amount of pvp head through this alleyway right here go to the left and go up this ladder right here once you get to this ladder right here you jump up here and you'll see the door here marked with this you'll know that you are now in sniper's nest and you can go ahead and use that skeleton key again remember the most beneficial part of this particular regain is that you're going to get two specialty vests but in total three three plate vests gearing up your entire group just like that really quick really amazing regain Definitely my favorite uh, when it comes to Al Masra with a skeleton key and something I think uh, teams need to be using more often when they wipe. A lot of AI right here. Clear those out. They just don't let me breathe, do they? Well, we almost got our 20 kills done at least. Um, let's go back and check too. They might have a stronghold key card. We're lucky. We might have to go buy one too. It's always an option. Uh, I'm not seeing one, so I think we're good. Uh, he doesn't have one either. No big deal. And we also got a heli. Gotta love that. Alright, let's take a look here now. And bounties, bounties are difficult. Uh, the thing about bounties in this game right now are that you need, it, it's basically luck. You need a team to start going on a hunting spree. You need the AI to then pop on them. And then you need them to kill someone again to trigger the bounty on their head. It's a, it's a terrible system that hopefully, you know, in the future, where's that coming from? Where is it coming from? Hmm. Gonna do, go take a high ground position. Absolutely no idea where that's from. I'm just gonna assume it's from this way, but who knows? We'll be on our way. I don't wanna stay in one place too long. That's how they'll find you.
Oh, well, I can just open this with a skeleton key. And you know what? I got spares at home, so let's do it. Let's go ahead and clear this thing. We'll probably get enough money we need to for personal extra and things like that, so that'll be good. If we choose to take that, might just do a hostage, though. Get the extra benefit of, you know, uh, bringing up my uh, kill streak. Ah, encrypted USB stick. Nice. Sells for a little penny. I would like to get a large backpack, too. That would, uh, you know, kind of seal the deal on the regain. Pretty nice. Maybe even a sniper in the backpack, too. That could be handy. Where is... Oh, I was like, where are those shotgun shots coming from? I was like, what? Oh, you got here fast. And they be... It's interesting how, like, the AI will come up onto you really quickly, um, and you won't hear them. Like, he got all the way up here, and I never heard a single footstep. Do they even have footsteps half the time? I wonder. That's sneaky. They got dead silence on. That's what it is. The AI... The AI... They have dead silence. That, that's got to be it, right? We'll put a shotgun in the backpack for now. Good to have something there. Also, don't worry. I'll go over my cast off 545 build at the end of the video if you are looking for that. It's an amazing gun right now that not a lot of people are talking about. Definitely one of the top assault rifles in the game right now. It's very, very low recoil. So, you know, similar to something like a Hamlock or TAC-56, you know. Um, but I... If I remember right, uh, when I checked the data, this was a bit harder hitting than those ones. So, you know, something good to have there. All right, we got our stronghold key card, so that's good because we'll be able to push forward with doing the rest of our stronghold. So that's a big W. Somebody's getting the weapons case, huh? Okay. Any exfils up there? Yeah, they'll probably take one of these two if they're serious about doing the weapons case. Um, they may also be using it for other means like baiting players over because maybe they need to do some PvP or something. Who knows? Sentry gun? I mean, better than those, you know. Oh, hey, buddy. No large. Unfortunate. I was kind of hoping to find one. We don't have enough for a large yet, but we still have a couple more strongholds to clear. Mm, we're going to need the plates. Oh, well, looks like we're actually going to be good on that. All right, there we go. Running low on SMG ammo. Let's go ahead and fill that back up. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. All right, next stronghold. Let's take a look here. Hmm. Could honestly just go back here. It's not a bad idea. Interesting. White cluster strikes. Must be an active combat zone over here. That also could mean that this will be lucrative for money, so I think we'll head over there, actually. That'd be a good place to go. We'll get a vehicle, too. We don't want to walk it. Oh, man. They're just lobbing all the grenades at me. Oh! Oh. Yeah, I did not want me taking that vehicle, it seems. Guess we'll go with uh, option B. Which is the boat. You know, beef about. It's a terrible job. It'd be so cool if you could set um, entry turrets on vehicles. It might be, and might be OP. Probably is OP. But man, wouldn't it be cool to just set a sentry turret as a solo right in the front of this boat? So you kind of have this little, you know, assault boat going on. Be pretty sweet. Hmm. A lot of bullets. You see those bullets flying across right there? That almost makes me think players. I don't know. Could just be AI, but I saw AI die right there. I don't know. I definitely want to be careful over here. That's an AI right there. Going up the stairs. Yeah. Probably nothing to be concerned about. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments. I tend to be a bit of a... Uh, 
paranoid solo player, which I think is a good thing, uh, mind you. I, I think that being a paranoid solo player actually keeps me alive more often than not. Usually when I question, like, how I feel uh, is when I die, you know? So I actually think it's a good thing. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. This is why I use Syntex. I'm telling you, I hate Riot Shielders with a passion. Like, obviously, you can kill him without it. Okay, buddy. But, man, having it just, just makes it so easy. Um, I'm still going to need to clear one more strong one after this. There's a three play. That's nice. I'm looking for a large, though, please. Uh, weird. What's this little phone here for? This is like a... Oh, it's a radio. Oh, I think it's part of that mission that yells out the code. Okay. Yeah, that's got to be it. You know, we'll drop this. We don't need the encrypted stick. We already have a stealth plate. We'll find better use for that backpack slot. Like a self-revive. All right, that's another stronghold cleared. I need one more, one more. Hopefully we get our large backpack and I won't have to buy it. Otherwise, you know, we're, we're gonna buy it, which is no big deal. Oh, so they were serious about the weapons case. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? I got this also an active combat zone, so I can loot it up a little bit for some stuff too. Crates aren't open here too, which signifies to me that at least players haven't been through here. Where's this guy shooting me from? Man, see, he's shooting me through a bush and I can't even see him. That's crazy. These AI are crazy. sell these valuables make up some plate space here oh whoa buddy oh somebody's been here oh and a sniper rifle just what i want okay we gotta move then oh interesting pop this oh, so it was a while ago or they're stealthed up gotta be careful while uavs are definitely the most powerful thing in all of dmc without a doubt because of stealth plates, they can also be misleading. So don't, you know, get too comfortable when uh, you don't see anything on them. I've made that mistake myself, I'll admit. And it'll, it'll get you killed. All right, we're at a store. Sell these. Um, we could pick up a personal. Let's take a look and see where all of the locations are. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can just make it a simple, simple one here. We got space now. All right, there we go. Okay, we got a nice little exfil here for when we need it. Um, just in case. And I might not use it. Um, but I expect I'll hopefully get a large backpack over here. If I don't, it's not the biggest deal, honestly. Three plates are far more important than backpacks, uh, in my opinion, in regards to a regain. As long as you have a medium, right? I think it's most important that I'm able to carry a third weapon, like a sniper rifle, for example. As I mentioned in my prior video to you guys, my favorite loadout combination overall within the DMZ that helps me cover all ranges is an assault rifle, an SMG, and a sniper rifle. That really helps cover everything. One thing I actually had forgotten to mention though is I do actually switch out the SMG to a shotgun like the KV broadside of the MX Guardian when it calls for it. So, you know, if I'm going to something like, let's say, uh, Building 21 or Koshe Complex, um, and sometimes even Vondel, right? I find that, you know, taking a shotgun with you instead of an SMG, so that loadout would be, you know, assault rifle, shotgun, sniper, um, is a really good loadout to have. It really just helps you cover all ranges. And, you know, I know for some of you, maybe you just prefer um, a shotgun over an SMG, and that's perfectly fine too. Uh, you can go ahead and use that. You're just gonna have to use your assault rifle at those like medium, like short medium ranges, you know? Um, so just keep that in mind. Out. 
Lovely. Car rolling right up to my location. Vehicle marked. Hmm, I pinged both vehicles and it's not players. It's not saying that it's players, but I'm really nervous. Whoa, it snapped me to that wall and that's actually scared the crap out of me. Okay, we're good. I was like, two vehicles rolling up. I don't know. I just got me a little stressed. Whew. All right. Heart rate went up a little there. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually such a jumpy person. I, I know that I've seen somebody... Um, on a video or a stream or something before actually but like a heart rate monitor like they somehow connected it to themselves and was able to display it on the video uh, I don't know I thought about doing something like that I thought it'd be really interesting um, and funny especially if I went and played like a scary game or something which by the way I'm not a fan of scary games whatsoever in fact all right looks like we have a really successful regain unfortunately no large backpack now mind you I could have actually gone and spent that 30k um, on a large backpack instead of a personal but I don't know you guys tell me what's more important to you getting a large backpack or getting out alive you know with a three plate like does a large backpack matter that much to you because to me it honestly doesn't uh, it really doesn't. As long as I have a medium, um, it's good enough for me. Basically, the ability to carry uh, a little bit of extra stuff, as well as, you know, having um, a third weapon, most importantly, is what matters to me. But I know everyone's different. Now, I also do advise having a scavenger backpack if you're doing, like, specific upgrade missions. Those are a huge, huge, huge bonus. Or secure if you need to, you know, repeatedly get um, extracting items such as, you know, like, small doll or heavy gas or something like that. You know, I definitely advise. Um, getting, you know, the correct backpack for your situation. But for a simple regain, I find that a medium backpack is good enough. Especially because usually in a regain, right, you're going to go in, you're going to get your gear, and you're going to go out. So what happens when you come back in? You're going to be working on, like, a mission, um, doing your hunting, whatever it is you enjoy in the DMZ, right? Which then you are likely to find something like, you know, a tier 3 backpack or something along that line. So... Not a priority for me, um, you know, I'd, I'd say getting out with what I got is most important. I got, you know, an entire kit of weapons, an AR, SMG, Sniper, um, with a three-plate stealth vest. Now, as a solo, I'm always going to take the stealth vest personally. It's a big deal to me. It's a very big deal. Ooh, ooh, we got heavy AI here, heavy AI here. Let's go ahead and take these guys out real quick. Oh, my. Didn't know what I was getting into. Ah, uh, it's a bomb site. That's why. Bomb site right there. Oh, 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 ho, ho. oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. that's actually scary. Okay. Now we pop that other one because I might get knocked again. Oh my gosh. You know, the AI are disgusting. Truly. Wow, the AI, you guys, man. I don't know. Maybe we'll see changes to them in Season 6. I mean, to be fair, though, this is an active combat zone, and I was near a bomb supply uh, stash, which I don't know if you guys have ran into, but there's always a ton of AI flooded around there. Um, but, you know, anyways, I'm going to get into the weapon build for this cast off 545, you guys. For this cast off 545 build, I call this the beam machine. This thing has extremely low recoil, as you saw before. We go ahead and throw on the 60 round mag, of course. Then we move on to the ever so popular F Tech Ripper 56 with this tuning right here to reduce recoil as much as possible. We then go to the Echoless 80 muzzle to give suppression as well as recoil reduction, and on top of it, not hurt our ADS speeds too much. Lastly, we go over to the IG k 3406 millimeter barrel with this tuning right here again towards damage range and recoil steadiness and obviously as i always tell you guys you're going to go with your optic of choice now with this one i've chosen to go with the amop v4 because i find that the holotherm has a little bit too much visual recoil with this weapon in specific but hey you do you and use what you like the most anyways i hope you guys appreciate this type of content make sure to like the video it really helps us and i will catch you guys next time peace